So I'm still working on taking off the caps for the top of our pop-up camper so I can lift up the aluminum and see what kind of water damage um, there really is under there. I know that there's a little bit more than I had originally thought um, because as I'm taking out screws in some parts, um, I'm literally getting screws that are oops, rusted or some that are literally like almost completely gone. Um, so obviously there's been more water damage than I had hoped, but some of these in the middle are still coming out pretty well. So it makes me think that there's less over here. I might be able to salvage some things, but I really won't know until I get it all lifted out. This screw's still in here because as I drill it out, it just doesn't even want to come um, because it's so rotted out. So I've had that happen to quite a few of them. Um, and I actually had that happen up here. Uh, the here you can see the top of the screw heads are just completely, I mean, they were gone. This one's not even there. Um, so I had to actually take a, I had to take a pry bar under this trim uh, and just pop the screws out because there was no way that there was anything else that was gonna get it out. So um, obviously, there's going to be damage on this side, which I knew from the inside, um, but I think it might extend further than I thought. So we will see once we get the skin of this off. After we got all of the caps off from the top of the roof, we opened it up about halfway and this is what we found. We knew that the back part of the roof was bad. Um, and pretty much you can see that it just fell off this wood part here um, that was back here just fell off um, and this is the piece of aluminum we're actually oh no here you can see the wood that's still attached to some of it um, but here you can see that it's totally rotted away so inside that aluminum roof skin there was this sheet of aluminum that was then attached to the plywood and then this piece of metal here and this is the part that you could see inside the camper you can see this bracket which the um, bed canopy pole goes into so we'll be taking this off to save but then we're going to get rid of the rest of this um, so right now we are t detaching the canvas um, from the inside our plan is to remove the sides of the roof as well as the back which is already obviously gone um, and we're going to rebuild those um, we're hoping to keep the top of the roof intact and just put in some braces actually on the inside that then will stabilize everything um, in case there is a little bit of rot on the inside which I'm sure there is a little bit on those um, wood pieces that run along the edge. So once we actually get these sides off, we'll know what more has to be replaced. But I'll give you a look here at this side. Um, this side here, you can see it's a little more intact, but it has to go. We won't be keeping um, any of this either. So our step right now is to, uh, we took out the gasket under here. And then we'll just be unscrewing all of these so this can come off. And then we'll brace it with two by fours so then we can unscrew these, which are attached to the supports. Um, so once it's braced, we'll do that and then we can take off all the side panels and go from there. Thanks so much for watching. You can head on over to my channel to see all the other parts in the series. We were able to finish it. And um, while you're there, you can hit subscribe and check out a bunch of other DIY and upcycle projects. Thanks for watching.